Hello and welcome to Matt's Reloading Bench. Today we're at the range with the 224 Valkyrie and I'm going to be shooting off loads that I made up using Fargate, CFE 223, and Reloader 17. I've got five shot groups for three tenths of a grain span at one tenth of a grain increments. So we're going to go ahead and get started and see what results we can get. So here I've got Varget. This first five shot group is going to be at 24.3 grains of powder. With 24.3 grains of Varget, I had a five shot group of 0.77 MOA with a mean radius of 0.32 MOA, an average muzzle velocity of 2727, extreme spread of 43.74, and a standard deviation of 19.56. This five shot group is gonna be with 24.4 grains of powder. With 24.4 grains of Varget, I had a group size of 1.43 MOA, a mean radius of 0.56 MOA. The average muzzle velocity was 2711, with an extreme spread of 69.93, and a standard deviation of 33.23. This five shot group is gonna be at 24.5 grains of powder. With 24.5 grains of Varget, I had a group size of 0.88 MOA with a mean radius of 0.35 MOA. The average muzzle velocity was 27.54, an extreme spread of 51.99, and a standard deviation of 18.66. Unfortunately, the Varget did not really give me any good extreme spread or standard deviation, so I'm probably not going to use it. This five shot group is going to be with CFE 223 at 25.2 grains of powder. With 52.2 grains of CFE 223, I had a group size of 0.51 MOA with a mean radius of only 0.17 MOA. The average muzzle velocity was 2671, extreme spread of 69.26, and a standard deviation of 33.17. This five shot group is going to be at 25.3 grains of powder. With 25.3 grains of CFE 223, I had a group size of 0.96 MOA with a mean radius of 0.26 MOA. The average muzzle velocity was 2702 with an extreme spread of 29.27 and a standard deviation of 13.52. This five shot group is gonna be at 25.4 grains of powder. With 25.4 grains of CFE 223, I had a group size of 1.10 MOA with a mean radius of 0.37 MOA. The average muzzle velocity was 2706 
with an extreme spread of 72.05 and a standard deviation of 29.02. Now I'm going to be shooting with the Reloader 17 and the first five shot group is going to be at 27.7 grains of powder. With 27.7 grains of Reloader 17, I had a group size of 0.79 MOA with a mean radius of 0.32 MOA. The average muzzle velocity was 2867 with an extreme spread of 118.45 and a standard deviation of 45.81. This five shot group will be at 27.8 grains of powder. With 27.8 grains of Reloader 17, I've got a group size of 1.1 MOA with a mean radius of 0.42 MOA. The average muzzle velocity is 2902 with an extreme spread of 25.17 and a standard deviation of 10.36. And this five shot group is gonna be at 27.9 grains of powder. With 27.9 grains of Reloader 17, I've got a group size of 1.03 MOA with a mean radius of 0.31 MOA. The average muzzle velocity is 2903 with an extreme spread of 64.9 and a standard deviation of 27.15. Well, I'll head down, get my target, head back home and see what we have for results. After analyzing all of the shot data, I've come to the conclusion that I am going to use the CFE 223 and I'm going to be loading up with the 25.3 grain loadout. Um, the reason being that I'm taking the 25.3 over the 25.2 is because the standard deviation and extreme spread are way better than the 25.2. Granted, the 25.2, the group size is way better, but I feel that I can tune the group size a little bit by adjusting the bullet seating depth. So moving forward, that's gonna be my next video for the 224 Valkyrie is doing different bullet seating depths and um, seeing what kind of results I can get. So if you like this video, let me know, hit the thumbs up, all right? If you have any comments or questions about any of the process that I do, please let me know in the comments section below. And help me out, subscribe to my channel, hit that bell so that you can get notifications for when the next video comes out. Until next time, shoot straight and be safe.